one yard, three feet, 36 inches. That's how close the Tennessee Titans got to beating the St. Louis Rams in Super Bowl 34 in the National Football League. Quarterback Steve McNair threw the pass down the middle of the field, caught by Kevin Dyson, sprinted towards the end zone, leaps towards the end zone, only to get pulled back one yard short, one yard. Hi, my name is Sean O'Connor, and I'm the Tennessee Titans representative, here to talk to you today about why the Tennessee Titans are a premier franchise in the National Football League. Three main points that I'm going to be talking about today. The great location of the Tennessee Titans. I'm going to be talking about the assets and the players on the Tennessee Titans team. And I'm also going to talk to you how the Tennessee Titans play an integral role in the National Football League's profit. Well, we'll talk about that more later. Not really profit. The Music City, that's where the Tennessee Titans are, have their uh, home games. Since their inception in 1999, they have sold out every single home game to the Music City is great, it's very lively community due to the young crowd there. Now according to the Census Bureau, uh, the United States Census Bureau, there are about 1.7 million people in Na uh, Nashville, Tennessee. 30% of those people are college students or around that age, so it really leads to a young, lively crowd, a lot of fun. Music festivals, a lot of uh, culinary festivals, gastronomy is huge there, barbecue, you know, the whole deal down south, it's great down there. So, how did the Titans end up in Nashville, Tennessee? Now, owner Bud Adams, who was recently deceased, he bought the Houston Oilers back in 1959 for $25,000. He decided that he didn't want to compete with the Dallas Cowboys anymore in Texas, so he moved the franchise to an area where he thought was looking for a football team, and they wanted, they were craving a football team. So he uprooted the Houston Oilers and in 1999 established Tennessee Titans in Nashville, Tennessee. Now, to put this into perspective, the Tennessee Titan franchise is now worth over $994 million. So I would say it's a pretty good investment by Bud Adams. Now some of the reasons that Bud Adams moved to Nashville, Tennessee are really starting to come to light. Oh, I wrote the wrong way, I'm sorry. There you go, okay, um, there you go. Nashville, before we got there, was just a city on the rise, and it's only growing as the Titans have been there. The unemployment rate is below the national uh, unemployment rate of 7.3%. It's currently 6.1%. And the residential units in downtown Nashville have actually tripled since 2002. Now, that's not just to say it was the Tennessee Titans that helped build this. However, they've become a much more affluent economy thanks to the Tennessee Titans and all the fans going there. Football is huge down south. If anyone's ever been down south to Texas, Nashville, Tennessee, anywhere, football is huge. And it's helped bringing in younger crowds and more people into Nashville, Tennessee, and down south. Now, next we're going to be talking to you about some players on the Tennessee Titans. Now, before I get into detail on this, I want you to think about this in a different way. Now, each team in the NFL is a, their own separate company. 32 separate companies in the National Football League. Now, think of them as competing with one another and they want to be the best out of all the companies. So how is a company successful? They need the best out assets in their company to produce the best output. So for example, NFL teams want the best players on their team. That's their assets to have an output of wins. Because when your team wins, you bring in more money. You sell more merchandise, you can bring up your ticket sales, and you can bring in more revenue as a whole. So. I'm going to talk to you about two Tennessee Titan players that I believe that helped shape the culture of the Titans organization and now are helping bring the Titans organization to the future. First one is Steve McNair, who I mentioned earlier. Considered one of the greatest NFL quarterbacks of all time. He just happened to put on a Titans jersey, which is also great. He went to five Pro Bowls. He was an All-Pro player, and he was MVP in 2004. He helped shape the culture of the Tennessee Titans because he was drafted as a Houston Oiler back in 1995. So he helped start as an oiler and build the Tennessee Titans as a franchise. He had a hard-nosed attitude. He had great passion for the game and was just a great leader. Which brings me to the next person, Jake Locker, who is now the quarterback of the Titans now. He is, just like Steve McNair, he's a great leader, he's athletic, and he's going to help bring uh, pride and revenue to the organization. When these general managers, when they draft these players in the NFL draft in April, they're looking for a player who's going to lead them to victory, who's going to be the face of their franchise. They're not looking at one to two years in the future. They're looking at eight to ten years down the road, like a decade's worth of investment. So these are long-term assets and long-term uh, 
investments for these companies, and by companies, I mean the team. Now, I want to talk to you a little bit about how the Titans are a part of the National Football League and how they're helping the National Football League generate money. But the National Football League is not, it's technically a not-for-profit organization, believe it or not. They do not make any money at the end of the year. However, according to Forbes.com, they brought in over $9 billion in earnings last year before they gave out their salary expenses and other stuff along those lines, paying the officials and other organizations, charities, and along those lines. Now, the Tennessee Titans are only the 18th most profitable out of 32 franchises in the NFL. That might not seem like a lot. However, they've only been in the league for less than 15 years. So they're up there with some of the teams that have been there for a while, the New England Patriots, they've been there with the Green Bay Packers, and they're on the rise. As I mentioned earlier, Nashville is gaining steadily in uh, residents, and they're gaining money, and their economy is doing fairly well. Um, as time goes on. Even during hard financial crises in 2008, they still were affluent and they still had prospered. And I mentioned earlier that there are $994 million in earnings for uh, last year alone. So they're very, very prosperous and they're about the average for the uh, national average for football teams. I just wanted to wrap up what we spoke about tonight. I spoke about the vibrant location of Nashville and how it's going to positively affect the franchise. I spoke about some of the assets on the, the Tennessee Titans and how they're going to help shape the culture and the success of the company. And I also spoke about how the Tennessee Titans are going to help better the National Football League in the long term. I hope you guys would like to be the Titans fans soon. <laughs>